Okay, so this is a very interesting kind of project or product that is a part of Intel. Yes, it's an official thing. It's an AI that is for free, and I mean absolutely free for now. I hope they don't change. It's called OpenVINO. This can integrate with uh, Audacity to do a lot of cool stuff from transcribing, translating, splitting audio, taking vocals, drums, music, and all that, splitting in different tracks, and translating. Now, I'm just going to go through how to install it. I'm going to show just some of the features, but I'm not going to do too much into the generating and all that because I don't have a super graphics card on this uh, computer right now, but you can do the rest yourself because uh, it's easier that way. So, let's get in. Here is the link I will post. It's in GitHub. And you go down here and download Audacity Open Vino module. And it will be 101 megabytes, this version. And the second one will be Open Vino models, 1.92 gigabytes. Because you will be running all these AI thingies offline or locally, not to a cloud or anything else. That's why the heavy stuff. Now let's fire up Audacity and make sure of one thing we have to make sure that audacity is on the la latest or last update currently as on this time of the recording this video it is on 3.4.2 now after that is done we get out of here and you'll have to check where your uh files that you downloaded are unzip them after you unzip them both they will be looking just like that You'll have two zip files, but when you unzip, you have all these thingies right here. From Whisper would be the last, and modules and OpenVINO and all that. In total, around 41 files. What you do from here, go to where your uh, Audacity is located inside your drive. Just grab all these files that are right here. Select all of them and drop it just inside the audacity folder not inside a subfolder or anything just on the tree i'm not gonna redo mine because as you see i already have all these files here close this up on your audacity when you first start it you'll have to go to edit go to preferences to preferences go to modules as you see here on the left side you have options go to modules scroll down in your case you'll see mod open vino yours will be new just like this switch that to enable hit ok close uh audacity and reopen it again that's all it takes when it reopens you'll see if you go to your analyze for example you have vino whisper transcription effects you have vino ai effects music separation style mix and noise suppression and all that good stuff now we can do something quick oh yeah here's the music generator i'm not gonna generate any music right here because it will take 20 30 minutes so you get the point it's not as good as suno ai gotta tell you right now but this one runs locally you can make it work better you can uh, go to uh this one here from simple to advanced and you can start your prompt for example edm harmonica soothing tone whatever you want to add as prompt you add the seed end of the prompt end of the seed strength 0 0.75 0 0.82 0 0.62 whatever and you can run it on cpu or gpu i suggest you go text encoder cpu then you let the rest as they are but you can play with it then hit generate when it's done generating You'll have your track right here to play with, to export it, to do whatever you wish. I'm going to do just a really quick one on the separation. I'm going to try just one of my own songs that I just made. Uh, I'm going to probably just cut this part out because we don't need all of it. And this part here, let me just play it as it is, regular. Oscillating waves, your sound of cosmic truth. We were meant to be one Our final forms really said We were meant to be one Okay, this is just to show you that it has instruments, it has drums, it has vocals, it has bass, it has melody, and all that good stuff, right? We're gonna split all of those. Why is this great, for example? Because now you can split it and you can rework it on uh, Dolby and make it Dolby compatible or surround sound compatible if you have a track 
or even a normal song that you want to convert to surround sound, now you can do that for free with this tool. But anyway, first let's go to Effects, Open Vino AI Effects, Open Vino Music Separation. You can do now two stems, instrumental and vocal, or you can go four stems that I said you can do for uh, Dolby, and you can separate it in drum, bass, vocals, and others. Well, let me do, do just that, four stems. Let's go full in. I'm gonna put it on GPU, hit apply, and wait for it to finish. It'll take for anywhere from 30 seconds to two, three minutes, depending on your computer and the length of the track. And when it's done, we'll get right back and I'll show you all four stems separately. It actually does a really good job. Okay, the separation has uh, ended. And as we see, let me delete the original track as we heard it already. Now we have right here drums, bass, instru other instruments, and vocals. This looks really promising so far. Let me mute them one by one really quick, just so we can hear them one by one. Now this is the only one unmuted, and this is the drums. Let me play some of it. As you see, let me go to the drums. That actually sounds really good. You hear it? This actually sounds good. Now let's go to the bass. Bass is usually just more like a humming thing. But anyway, let me play it and see what it did and how it separated it. Sounds pretty good to me. Really, really beautiful. And uh, let's see probably what melodies did it get here. Yeah, it got it actually. Look at that. And this is all being run locally in our computer, not online on a server. And the last but not the least, vocals, which of course a lot of you probably are very interested to separate vocals. Well, let me play the vocals alone. Oscillation waves of sound Of cosmic truths profoundly bound The pulse of existence Of finite forms merely circle space Behind this veil of light and shade We were meant to be Really? really beautiful let me delete these now as you saw and this is all being run locally i repeat again now i'm gonna try a last one really quick before i get out of here so i give you two examples and the others well you know how to do it yourself i'm gonna delete this other part so we don't spend all day here trying to transcribe this part this is just a recording of me for a video that I uploaded previously and here in a second we're gonna go uh switch to night drive just a second okay. and here we so we get the night drive just a second know that and uh, we select the track then we go to analyze and at analyze we go to open vino whisper transcription whisper is the same transcription that is used by a uh, chat gpt or open ai so you know that is good and it will get all the words in a text file with stamps of time or time stamps i'm just gonna leave it as it is transcribed yes you can do translate as well i'm gonna leave it transcribe language auto i guess i'll just go to uh english really quick and i'm gonna hit apply that's all and let it trans oh that was quick this is our transcription now we select uh, right here on this new track that formed with text as you see right on it and we had file, we go to export other and export labels. Label will be transcription. I guess I'm just going to do test right here on desktop. Save it. And after it's saved, let me minimize this one. And here's our transcription. That's exactly what was on that mini clip that we played. And here in a second, we're going to switch to night drive just a second. And here we are night drive now this is now this road is not the most well lit road you ever see that's for sure that's actually what i said that is a good transcription now imagine how many times 
I willingly and happily paid for transcriptions from a video file or audio file that I wanted that transcription, especially with timestamps. This is amazing. This is beautiful. And besides that, I told you what else it has, but we're not going to go into it. The music generation and uh, the other one that was right here that you have a style remix, noise suppression or background noise removal, the uh, transcription we just did right now. So just go ahead, do it for yourself. It's totally free. Now, depending on your computer, if you have a good GPU and good CPU, it will probably be much faster, but you can still try it, especially transcription and separation. They take a little bit of CPU and GPU, but not that much. So with an okay computer, you can get away. Music generation, in the other hand, that will take quite a powerful machine. So I'm not even going to bother here to take 30 minutes to 40 minutes to generate an audio track that I'm not going to like probably because I am maybe too lazy to go and fill up all these and wait. But you get the point. You can play around with it. You can mess around with it. The link will be down in the description. Yes, this is an Intel project, so it is an official thing. It's not something that I created or somebody in the shades created. So let me know in the comments below if you install it. How did you like it? And with that said, please hit like and subscribe, share this video with somebody that you think might benefit out of it and might want to know about it. And I am out. Bye!